This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. Awesome. Trump just hit Obama hard by inviting one man to attend his inauguration. We've heard all about the stars who are allegedly planning to boycott Donald Trump's inauguration. However, if Trump has his way, the biggest name at his inauguration festivities won't be an entertainer at all. According to a report from the New York Post, Trump's people have been aggressively courting Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to appear at the January 20 festivities. If not, Trump's people, led by son-in-law Jared Kushner, would like a meeting with the Israeli leader before the president-elect takes office. There's a plan for Trump to meet with Netanyahu, a source within Trump's team said. They're talking all the time. And Netanyahu is talking about possibly going to the inauguration. Unlike the president, Donald Trump has been vocal about his support for the Jewish state. According to Times of Israel, Trump lambasted the United Nations resolution against Israeli settlements, telling reporters Thursday that horrible places, that treat people horribly, haven't even been reprimanded by the UN. Look, we have to protect Israel. Israel to me is very, very important. We have to protect Israel, and I disagree with what. President Obama s done with Israel, Trump said Sunday. I listened to Secretary Kerry's speech. I think it's very unfair to Israel, what happened. Kerry's speech, in which he harshly criticized the Israelis and claimed that they were abandoning the two-state solution, has been roundly criticized by conservatives. So, imagine the coup if Trump were able to turn around and get Netanyahu to attend the inauguration of the man that President Obama not so secretly loathes. According to the Jerusalem Post, Prime Minister Netanyahu said that he has not received an invitation yet. However, there are several weeks to go, and Netanyahu has seemed more receptive to Trump than he's been to the Obama administration. He tweeted thanks in both Hebrew and English after Trump made his statement on Kerry's speech, and he had met with Trump back in September. We can only hope he's there on January 20th. Please like and share on Facebook and Twitter if you agree this would be an awesome inauguration guest. Do you think Netanyahu would be an awesome inauguration guest? Scroll down to comment below. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.